but they participate keenly. And in the lead up to the next elections, we've taken a very aggressive outlook on this matter. Uh, this is a gathering of 400 people drawn from all the constituencies and the wards of Nairobi County. And the reason for this is the recognition that uh, if Nairobi becomes chaotic, the whole country is set on fire. But if Nairobians manage the elections peacefully, they can contribute a lot to the peace of the nation. But we are urging that championing for peace is not merely a sentimental engagement, but that those who will champion peace are empowered so that they have sound and correct and legal information regarding elections, so that they, as they mobilize communities at the grassroots, they can do so from a point of strength. And so we've gone out of our way as NCCK to bring together people coming from all the communities in Nairobi that are leaders within their own communities, and especially clergy and bishops from the various communities and denominations and churches in Nairobi. And we are very, very pleased that we can make this contribution. Our appeal to Kenyans is that peace is not negotiable around elections, because that is a carry home for all Kenyans. Elections are a constitutional matter that is housed in the laws of this land. There are clear guidelines on how that should be managed. And we encourage that Kenyans who seek to run for offices should be given space to campaign and sell their policies to the Kenyan public from all the parties that wish to pre present candidates for all seats uh, that are available constitutionally. In the preparation for the elections, we must have peace. We must have peace on the election day, and we must have peace after the elections, and the results are announced. We appreciate that there could be grievances. Uh, that is normal in such a highly competitive election, but we urge that it is imperative that contestants in the elections only follow the law. And even if they have grievances, those grievances are addressed according to the law. From our perspective, it will take Kenyans to say they will not have chaos. And we must not have a repeat of 2007, 2008. This country cannot afford that kind of situation again. And we are committed to use our structures across the country to pass this message. That is how the IBC chairman has come. We shall, after tea, have a representation from the Inspector General's office. And we are asking for an engagement of key players in this value chain of elections so that the general public can understand what is the level of preparedness, what is the connection that is possible, how can partnerships be built with these agencies so that all Kenyans of goodwill can contribute to a peaceful election. And so this process will go on today and tomorrow when we finish, there will be carry home work that uh, these people will engage going forward. Thank you.